What's up guys, Exhale here with another quick, safe, and simple Molten Core Strategy Guide. This video is about Gehennis and his two Flame Waker Protectors. This fight is basically Lucifron 2.0. Gehennis has three abilities, Rain of Fire, Shadow Bolt, and Gehennis' Curse. Gehennis' two Flame Wakers have one ability you need to worry about, Fist of Ragnaros. Rain of Fire is just as it sounds, and it can last for 6 seconds. It can be cast on anyone in the group, including the tanks, so if it does spawn on the tanks or the melee DPS, the tank will have to move Gehennis out of it. Shadow Bolt is also just as it sounds, and it'll target a random raid member, though it seems that it will target the tank on Gehennis a lot of the time. Last and most importantly is Gehennis' Curse. This ability is a curse that is cast on the entire raid that will decrease all healing that target takes by 75% for 5 minutes. This is top priority for decursing, and it's the most important mechanic of the fight. It'll be cast every 15 seconds or so. The Flame Waker's Fist of Ragnaros is an AoE stun that lasts 4 seconds that will affect all players within a small radius around the NPCs. This means that, just like Lucifron, the two adds in the boss need to be split and tanked away from each other. As for consumables, free action potions are the best thing you can get for Fist of Ragnaros. At the very least, your tanks on the adds should use them so they can maintain aggro until the adds are dispatched, if not all of your melee. And Gehennis' Curse can be decursed via restorative potions, up to three with each use. Overall, this is one of the easiest fights in Molten Core, and as long as you're decursing Gehennis' Curse one way or another, I'm sure you'll have no problem with this fight. And that's everything you need to know about Molten Core's third encounter, Gehennis. If you found this video helpful, learned anything new, drop a comment or a like down below. Also, be sure to subscribe for more quick, safe, and simple guides. Until next time, this has been Exhale.